in today's video we're going to be talking about what to do if your piercing is closed and if you have to get re-pierced, can you go through scar tissue? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Thank you to the person that requested this. If you guys have any requests when it comes to videos, please be sure to leave them in the comments below or you can always email me at hello at thepiercingoutlet.com. Now if you are new, welcome to The Piercing Outlet. My name is Christina. I used to pierce ears for five years before creating this channel, so be sure to subscribe for more helpful videos. Now getting right into the video, the first thing that you want to do is see if your piercing is actually closed. I used to have so many people come to me and want to get re-pierced, but reality is their hole was actually open. I would just ask them, can I see if your piercing is open first so that way we don't have to put another hole in your body. And I would say, more than half of the time I would get an earring through their ear so usually the trick that I would do is I would of course try to go through the front if I had trouble I would then go through the back of the hole and sometimes going through the back of the hole it would be easier to find the angle because sometimes piercers do pierce on an angle they don't pierce exactly straight through it depends obviously they should be piercing you straight through but if you're pierced with a gun there's a possibility you were pierced on an angle now another thing that I would recommend is trying a piercing earring. Piercing earrings are a little bit sharper and that's just to get through that maybe that extra layer of skin that you just need to poke through. It just makes it easier to guide it through. I'm not saying be forceful and re-pierce your ear. That's not what I'm saying. But using a piercing earring did make it easier to guide it through. So like I said, I would go through the front see if I could get it through and then I would go through the back and that's usually how I could get it back through. I would see, I could feel the angle that it would be on, that easy to put it back in. Now if you are home, you could take a warm shower because that does make your skin a little bit softer and that could also make it easier to put it back in. Also having someone helping you makes a big difference because sometimes you can't always see. I always use my thumb as a guide when I'm putting my earring through. I put my thumb right on the back of the hole because you can usually feel it and then I just poke the earring in and use my thumb as like a guide and just poke it right through to my thumb. Now, if you feel like it's definitely open and you're having trouble, go to a piercer. Don't be afraid. If you feel like you're gonna hurt yourself, this is what piercers are here for, not only to pierce your ears, but to help you if you are having trouble with your piercing. So don't be embarrassed. You're not the first person that has had trouble. Just go to a piercer. I will leave a link below so that way you guys can find a reputable piercer near you. Now, if your piercing is closed up and you want it re-pierced, I'm sure you probably want it through the same hole because you don't want it you don't want to create another hole and have another scar which is totally understandable but I can't say yes and I can't say no going through the same scar tissue because everyone's gonna be different and it depends on how many times you're already pierced the piercer is definitely gonna have to assess the scar tissue that you have usually like if it's your ear you can feel that little ball that's usually scar tissue so more than likely if you're pierced like multiple times like two or three times that person's not gonna go through the scar tissue it's just going to be weaker and it's going to take it longer to heal. Now when I used to pierce ears, personally I did not go through the scar tissue. We would usually just go like a pinhead away and the earring would cover the old mark. So if you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys in my next video.